stampers welcome to fancyforstampin.com I'm Josie Collar boy it's been a while since I've done one of these I don't know what I've been doing but I've been busy I think it's I bought myself a new sewing machine and so I've been playing around with that but anyway I've got this new little project that I created um, it's a framed 4x6 picture of my granddaughter She's not quite this young anymore. She's 10 months old. This was taken in October of last year when she was just a little over a month old. But this is a paper frame and um, we're going to create this today to frame another picture of her and her daughter, her, her mother, my daughter. Um, the opening isn't quite four by six, it's four by three and a half, so we'll have to trim down the photo a little, but uh, that's okay. It will fit a four by six photo in it. Okay, so let me set that off to the side along with this picture and tell you what it is we need. For the frame, we need, I used a piece of Blushing Bride cardstock. This measures eight and a half by 11. And then for the stand, because this is self-standing, I made a little stand to go on the back, I used a piece of 4 by 8 inch cardstock in Blushing Bride. And then we need scraps of Bermuda Bay, Whisper White, and Pear Pizzazz. And we need scraps of um, Blushing Bride as well. I didn't get those out, but you will need those. The other thing we will need is the I Just Love You stamp set from Stamp from the Petal Palette stamp set. And then we're going to need the Petals and More Thinlets dies and the Birds and Blooms Thinlets dies. And these are the these are the dies that we'll be needing. We need the large and small birds from Birds and Blooms, and then these four dies from Petals and More. And I've attached them to a uh, 8 by 12 magnet sheet because I don't want to lose them, have them fall on the floor and, and I'll lose them. And you need black ink, memento black ink. Okay. So let's start with the frame. Okay, I've got my scoreboard and we are going to score this 8.5 by 11 inch piece of cardstock. On all four sides, we're going to score at one half, one inch, one and a half, and two inches. We're going to do that on all four sides. Okay, we can get rid of the scoreboard. Okay, then I'm going to take my little ruler, orient the paper this way, short edge at the top and the bottom, and I'm going to count up from the bottom. One, first score line, second score line. Okay, and I, from this fourth score line, I'm going to measure a half inch in, and I'm going to make a score line just in there, half inch. Can you see that right there? There's a score line. Here's one, two, three, fourth score line, half inch in on the left, and I'm going to do the same thing here on the right. Half inch in from the fourth score line I'm just going to make a short little score line between the first and second score line. I hope you can see that. And then I'm going to flip it around again and I'm going to do the same thing at this end. Okay, there we go. 
I'm going to take my paper snips or my scissors and I'm going to cut from the bottom all the way up to the fourth score line. I'm going to remove this chunk on all four cor corners. And then I'll show you what that other score line that we that short score line that we made is for. Okay, so now our cardstock looks like this. It's got scoring and we've cut out the corners. Okay, so here is that short score line I made. I'm going to go up from this corner here, cut to that corner, then the third score line up, one, two, three, from the bottom there, if I can get my scissors in there, up to that score line, and I'm cutting this little notch out on either end. Okay, you see how that looks? So I'm going to do that here. From this corner to that short score line that I made, across that score line, then up one, two, third score line, and I'm going to trim from there up to that score line. Okay, so now this is what your cardstock looks like. Okay? Okay, next thing we're going to do is fold on all the score lines. You can use your bone folder if you want. I'm not going to because as I manipulate this, it's going to be the the folds are going to get a little bit more and more pronounced. Okay, you shouldn't need glue on this. It should stay together on its own, but I'll show you where you can put glue if you decide you need some. Okay, so we're going to roll in one end. I've folded it, and then we're going to tuck this in under. And this side should hold the bottom part down. Okay, we've got that side in. Now we're going to roll this in and tuck that in there. So there we've got that part of the frame done. And okay, now we need to do the top. Tuck those in under there. You have to fiddle with it a little. And of course it's going to make me struggle today because I want to do this for you. There we go. Here we go. There we go. Got it all together. Oops. Okay. There we go. We've got our frame. Now, if you decide you want to use a little liquid glue, you can use your fine tip glue pen and add a little glue under each corner. Okay, there's our frame. We've got that done. Now this measures six by three and a half. So we're going to have to take a half inch off of my picture. Since I don't want to cut off much of her, my daughter's head here, I'm going to take the half inch off from the bottom here. If the picture was more perfectly centered, I'd take a quarter inch off of each side. That's what I did in my sample. So I'm going to take a half inch off of the bottom of this picture.
There we go. Now this picture will fit right inside here. Just like that. And what I do to keep it from moving around is I'm going to put a glue dot on either end of the picture. One there. slide it back in there. Oops. Got my glue dot stuck to the front of the picture. Of course I did. Let me see if I can get that off of there. Okay, this is something that you don't want to do. You don't want to get your glue dot stuck to the front of your picture. But I did and I can't get it off so I'm going to have to think of something to put in there to cover up that glue dot. But there we go. The picture's in the frame. Okay, so now we need to create the stand for the frame. So I've got my 4 by 8 piece of cardstock and I'm going to score it with the long edge at the top of my scoreboard at the three the five and the seven and a half inch mark okay three five and seven and a half inch and of course I didn't get my tear and tape out but we're going to fold it on all four score side score lines and add some tear and tape right along here and we will glue it together to make a triangle. Let me get my tear tape and I'll be right back. Okay, got my tear tape and I'm going to add a piece right there between the half inch and score line and end. And I'm going to attach it. To form a triangle. Maybe. Yeah, I am. I'm gonna, I got it. I got it. I can do this. I can do this. I'm smarter than the piece of paper. Okay, there, we have a triangle. So now we need to attach this to the back of the frame. So I'm going to put some tear tape on here, a piece at the top, Oh, I see I'm running low on battery power. And a piece on at the bottom. Of course, because I'm in the middle of this and I've got it, everything all set up, so now I have to change the battery, but that's okay. I'll get this attached before the battery runs out and then we'll come back and decorate. Okay, so I'm going to remove the backing on the tape. I'm going to set it flat like that on the table and I'm going to set my frame flat on the table and I'm just going to back the frame up to the triangle. And there you go. Not quite centered but the bottom edges are even so I'll attach that and there it's standing all on its own. Okay, while I was gone, I did a couple things. I replaced the battery in my camera, so now it's not going to run out. It is fully charged. 
Second thing I did was I remade the frame because I didn't like the way that one had turned out and I shouldn't have attached the stand to the back of it yet because we still need to decorate the front of this one. And the other th two things I did is I used my adhesive remover to remove the glue dot that got stuck to the front of my picture. And the last thing I did is I cut out a bunch of things using my frameless dies. I cut out a pink and a blue of those. Two birds, a large and a small. Several of these branches, three actually, out of pear pizzazz. And a pink and a blue cluster of flowers. And last but not least, the sentiment banner. Okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp this with my sentiment and then we're going to decorate the front of that frame. So I'm using the sentiment that says, I just love you and my memento black ink pad. There we go, and I can set that aside. That's all the stamping we're doing today. Okay, so we need to decorate the front of this frame. And how I did that is I used glue dots. I'll try not to make a mess with glue dots again. And scissors. Okay, my first frame was oriented this way, long ways, lengthwise with the short end at the top and the bottom. This one is the short end is on either side, so I might not have to cut these. On this one, on this first frame, I cut the green branches, but I might not have to do that on this. But when you attach them, you want to make sure they don't go past the bottom edge of this frame, because if they do, it won't stand up when you stand it. So let me grab a couple glue dots. That's what I use to attach glue dots. So we'll put one uh, right there, just like that. And if we have to trim later, we will. So there's one glue dot there and one right there. We might not need any more. Let me see. Where's my bird? The large bird is going to sit right, right there. So let me... Where do I want them to sit? Right there. So I'm going to put glue dot there and one near his tail. Right under there. Okay. There we go. Oh, come on, stick. Stick, stick. It's sticking everywhere, but where I want it to stick, I need another glue dot under there. There we go. Okay, perfect. So there, that's stuck there. Okay, there's one bird. Okay, and then I'm going to layer the pink over the blue scallop. I think I'll use some snail on this. So you need your silicone mat. And I'll just add some snail over under the pink and layer it over the blue. So it looks like that. And I'm going to put a little more adhesive behind the blue. And I'm moving that over toward the green branch, just like that. Okay, and I'm going to mount my sentiment toward 
toward the right on this one. Or do I want to go to the left? Let me see. Yeah, let's go to the left. We'll go to the left on this one too. Snail. There, just like that. And now my little bird. Because that what that's what Stella is. She's our little bird. Right there, we need a glue dot. Put that there. And let's see how we can do this. We'll put... Now the branches at the top, it doesn't matter if they go past the perimeter of the frame because the um, frame's not going to be resting on that edge. So I'm just going to attach. Let's see, how, how am I going to do this? This one I think I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut some branches off of this one. I don't want them quite as long. So there's one. I'll attach that with a glue dot. Or I guess I could use adhesive too, huh? That might work better. See, this is an experiment as we go. So there's one. And let's cut these off. Put some adhesive on the back of that. And two. And we'll just cut a little branch off of here, just like so. And we'll make that stick up like that. Okay, and then we're going to attach these. We're going to overlap the pink and the blue. And they go right there. Adhesive. And we'll just put that on there like that. Okay, and then we'll add some pearls and we are all done. Okay, pearls, where are you? I know I have them. Here they are. Okay, I put a little one in the baby bird's eye. Where are you, little pearls? Come back here. Come back here. There we go. I got it. Pearl in the baby bird's eye. And a little bit bigger one. Maybe if I can find one in the big bird's eye. Is that bigger? Yeah, that's bigger. That looks better. There's one right there in the big bird's eye. Or I think, oh, on this one, on the other one, I used a little bit bigger one, but that's okay. And I want